in the previous video we saw how the process of syngamy happens that is the process of fertilization how the male gamete fuses along with the female gamete we saw that in the previous video once this process of fertilization is over that is this process of syngamy is over immediately the zygote or the fertilized egg starts to develop and it reaches a 16 cell stage which is also called as the morula and this morula will be in the shape of a small berry and where does this happen this happens in the fallopian tube so what happens after that how does this morula develop further and how does this embryo that is the zygote gets settled in the uterus in a process called implantation we'll be seeing that in this video so once the morula is formed that is the 16 celled zygote after cleavage the fallopian tube senses the morula formation and it slowly starts to relax and when it relaxes this morula starts traveling from the fallopian tube to the uterus and this takes around 4 to 5 days so from morula formation it takes around 4 to 5 days for the morula to pass through the fallopian tube it is already there in the fallopian tube I am talking about the extra distance it passes through the fallopian tube and it finally lands into the uterus and it gets embedded in the wall of the uterus this whole process takes around 4 to 5 days now when I said this morula slowly travels for 4 to 5 days and it gets embedded in the uterus during that time span the 16 cell divides further and further and reaches a state of 100 cells and these 100 cells will be in the form of fluid filled hollow ball in this structure it is known as a blastocyst so it is only in the structure of a blastocyst that the zygote will come and get itself embedded in the uterine wall now what happens further this blastocyst consists of two different kinds of cell one is called as a trophoblast which consists of a single layer of very large and flattened cells the single layer of large and flattened cells is called as the trophoblast it also consists of some small cells which is found beneath the trophoblast which is called as the inner cell mass let me draw that for you so the trophoblast is going to be the outermost region and it is going to consist of cells like this so this is going to be the trophoblast it is going to contain large flattened cells and inside the large flattened cells you will be finding small cells which is called as the inner cell mass these are the inner cell mass ok now it is this inner cell mass which will develop into an embryo and it is this embryo which will get embedded in the uterus which part of uterus it will be embedded in the endometrium layer of the uterus and this process by which the inner cell mass develops into an embryo and gets embedded in the endometrium is called as implantation and you call this as a successful pregnancy so the pregnancy is becoming positive they test for pregnancy and they tell it's the zygote formation is perfect and they are tested positive for a pregnancy if it is said that they are positive for a pregnancy it means that implantation has happened and the embryo has get got embedded in the endometrium region of the uterus now if the implantation is going to happen outside uterus instead of uterus if the embryo is going to get embedded in some other part other than uterus then that is called as an ectopic pregnancy this is the process by which the implantation will happen somewhere outside the uterus so if it is going to be outside the uterus where will it be it can be anywhere it can be in the fallopian tube or it can be somewhere in the cervical cavity 
or it can be on the upper surface of the fundibulum or the fundus. So if it, go, if it is going to happen somewhere there, then it is called as ectopic pregnancy. And 95% of the ectopian pregnancy will be happening only in the fallopian tube. And what are the symptoms of that? It may lead to internal bleeding, a lot of infections, lot of menstrual, abdominal and pelvic pain and inflammation. And finally, it may also lead to the rupture of the fallopian tube and cause the death of the female individual also. So ectopic pregnancy is actually a dangerous one. And many people lose their potential to uh, or make themselves, you know, they, they lose their viability to produce offspring when they have this kind of an ectopic pregnancy. So with this, we come to the end of implantation. Morula formation will finally be influenced by the formation of a blastocyst and that blastocyst, the inner cell mass, will finally develop into an embryo and that gets embedded in the endometrial layer of the uterus.